Warning, the following video contains language, blood, gore, and other adult themes. If you are squeamish or do not like content such as this, do not watch it. You have been warned. In the last episode, she's naked. And so we continue. You're here now in my secret bedroom where everything can happen. Wow, I did not expect this in this game. Why won't you come closer? Are you scared? No, but I'm married. Why don't you explain all this? Okay, but didn't we already have this conversation? Twice? Why are they bouncing so much? In perfect sync with your hair. No, but I want to know why you've taken your clothes off. Why are you trying to seduce me, Mrs. Robinson? Ah, that. I told you already. I'm so lonely here. Nobody's touched me for a very long time. I'll give you what you're looking for. And in return, I only want you to kiss me. You didn't need to take your clothes off for a kiss. Is it so much to ask? I, I just want to find a way to the roof. Am I going to be forced to kiss her? Only that? I thought we had a special connection. No, I really don't care what you thought. Really? Well, I must have been wrong then when I thought you looked at my breasts rather than my face. Well, they're boobs. Guys, we like boobs. It's, it's instinctual. Okay, lady? Because you wouldn't. Would you? And you didn't get a little bit excited when you found my knickers, did you? You didn't examine them, did you? Oh, and I had hoped you'd hold me in your strong arms. slowly kiss my dead cold lips you know I can't I love my wife Mr. Davis she will never know I thought she was dead anyway she's not it's you who's dead true. But I'm right here right now. And where is she? Can't you see that she's controlling you? Clever little girl. The love you gave her, it was never truly returned. You've been fooling yourself for years. Let's just say, you won't regret this, my dear. I, you should ask yourself a question. Do you really love that crazy, paranoid wife of yours? With her foul mouth that spits out poison. no respect for you and everything you've gone through. All she gave you was grief and embarrassment. Was she really ill? Or maybe she was just making a fool of you. Don't you dare. Fine. 
one more thing though. In the letter she said she was leaving you. How do you know about the letter? She gave it to you. It's right here in my pocket. She, I just know. And I want to help you. She gave you the letter, dude. She probably read it. Yeah, right. Uh, I think I'll pass. It's not you. It's that blood-stained bed that puts me off. I understand. Your love to your wife is greater than temptation. I shall respect that. The second door will take you to the roof. And if you go, don't look back. Now it's time for you to decide. Wow. So what's it going to be? Passion or loyalty? It's decision time now. Kiss her, leave her. Kiss her, leave her. Oops, I've gotta go. Thanks for your help. So you're just going to leave me. You fucking idiot. You turn me down like this? Me? I'm sorry. Go to hell. I think I'm already there. I'm done with her. It's better if I leave her alone now. She said second door? I don't... That's the only door. Oh. And she's gone. Neat. Strange device. There aren't any switches or buttons on it. Okay, let's head back in. Go talk to the doctor. I've talked to the receptionist. There's no generator here. No backup generator. What the hell are we gonna do now? We need more energy. We need it now. You must construct additional pylons. Okay, calm down, Thomas. Calm down. There must be some other way. <sighs> you can stop playing, Doctor. I know everything about your nasty plan. You knew this all along. From the very start, you were going to use the lightning to power up your machinery. What? The power of lightning? That's such a brilliant idea! Eh? I think it's been done before. At least on films. Back to the Future did it. I see a bright future in science for you, boy. That's exactly what we're going to do. Take this walkie-talkie. Find some iron bar and stick it on the roof where the cable is going. But let me know before you do it. I have to switch everything on first. Did 
just talk to me on the walkie-talkie first when you're ready. Yes, I knew that tonight was the night. Go now. The time is short. Ah, you're a good boy. Better go. I don't want to get involved. Too late, you're already involved. Go on then. I'm not holding you, am I? Okay. Let's go check out the cellar. Because I'm really curious as to what the whole point of that thing flickering was. I want it back. Oh. Um. Um. You're not gonna acknowledge this either. Devil came through here, all right, fine. It was there when you first showed up. But this was not here, Joe. Joe. Joe! Uh, I wonder, can I take the syringe? Can I take the red chemical? Red, color of blood and danger. This surely is the right one. I got it! I wonder if, uh... Yeah, I wonder if I gotta use that and kill someone else. I'm gonna hang on to it. Alright, I flipped the switch. I'm gonna go examine the body. I poked him in the arm, but there's no reaction. It's empty. Stick in my hand and there won't change a thing. Put the that. You want a brain? I wonder if you'll notice any difference. Why did I do that? I'm not gonna remove it now after I've gone to all this trouble finding it. Um, why did I do that? Well, that gave me the heebie-jeebies. Let's go check out here again. Oh my, um, no. Um, four little birds. Four birds with heads chopped off. You and me, Joe, we're alike. What's wrong with your face? We have killing in our blood, don't we? But you ain't getting any further. No. A while ago, Devil went through here. He made me write on, this, on these walls with his own blood so it would not be forgotten. Once the devil comes, he stays forever. Are you ready to meet the devil? Can we? Oh, uh, gun. Um, this gun hasn't got enough power power to hurt him. Fuck. I did. Uh, it. I better keep this shotgun. I might need it later. Um. You want a head? I'll give you a head. Uh, um... Throw this at him. Maybe it'll hurt him. Uh, okay. What do you want from me? You want some rat poison? Oh! Oh! Um... Maybe you want the cancers. Do you want the cancers? No. Why aren't you attacking me yet? Not, not that I'm complaining, but... My chances in hand-to-hand -hand combat with the Psycho are rather slim. Empty frame. I don't know why you haven't attacked me yet. 
There are no more items to the right. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yep. I died. Shit. <laughs> 